everyone, Firefly 404 here. I'm just pulling out of the theater after watching Star Trek Into Darkness. And I must say, that was fucking awesome. And I'm saying this as an old school Trekkie. I mean, my father got me introduced to the original series as a kid. I pretty much grew up watching the next generation. Love Deep Space Nine, Voyager and Enterprise. Well, Voyager not so much, Enterprise I loathe. But this movie, wow. <laughs> There's one part I don't like about it, but it's played a role in Trek before, so I'm not gonna hold it against the movie. And without giving away plot details, I'm just gonna say it's when they bring up Destiny. Uh, but so anyone who's seen the movie knows what part I'm talking about hopefully but other than that I have absolutely no complaints about that film I, I mean I know somebody, some people who know my feelings about Iron Man 3 will probably think what what you're not going to nitpick this movie to death no I'm not I thoroughly enjoyed that And now I'm stuck trying to get out of the theater parking lot. Hmm. Ah, but... Okay. Having seen that... Okay, I already said I didn't really like Iron Man 3. I'm going to tell you why. My main problem with it, I can nitpick it all... I can nitpick it all... Uh, to death and I'm probably going to leave some more comments in the description but my main issue is that the motivation of the main villain is really really weak to the point where I can't buy the fact that he's done all this stuff and I'm not going to get into any more plot details in case anyone actually wants to know. If you're interested in plot details, don't read the description. But suffice to say, there are two kind of villains in here. One main villain and one secondary villain. And I personally think they should have folded the main villain character into the secondary villain and have that secondary villain whose motivations for not liking Tony were much much stronger actually be both characters if they had done that I probably would have liked the movie but as it was I'm watching this and thinking why is this guy doing this this makes no sense special effects were good I thought Tony's uh, interplay with Pepper, I mean, for someone who's supposedly in love with this girl and wants to protect her, uh, Pepper is perfectly capable of defending herself in the end, you'll know what I mean. But he sure has a funny way of showing it. Anyway, I think that's a good enough time to stop this. I'll talk to you later. Firefly 404 out. Um, stay shiny.